A major target's been hit in the battle to slow down brutal price rises and help kickstart a sluggish economy. Inflation has dropped to its lowest level in three and a half years. It's 2.2% for the September quarter. That annual inflation rise more than a point less than the June quarter when it was 3.3%. And this crucially means it's now in the Reserve Bank's all-important 1% to 3% target range. It's been a tough ride on the inflation roller coaster for Kiwis when it's come to spending power during the cost of living crisis. Have a look at this. In March 2021, okay. it was at 1.5%. Then it rose rapidly, peaking in June 2022 at 7.3%, before slowly starting to come down again and finally back below three, hitting that 2.2%. Now, for, uh, for accuracy, um, our inflation didn't reach the peaks of many of our uh, like minded countries. Uh, but it did have a longer tail than many of them. And the reason for that is because the previous government chose to have health outcomes and keep people safe over, above and over everything else. Uh, countries like the US, where, that has one of the worst death rates from COVID, they got back their inflation way down lower a lot sooner. So the tail is the payoff for 20,000 more New Zealanders who are alive today and for all those businesses that got supported and for all those individuals who got paid to be away from work when they were sick, the tail for all of that was longer inflation. And personally, I'll take that. You know, health of the people above and beyond anything else. Is that fair, Chewy? Yes, and I think this is a really good example of something that the, our current government doesn't get. The government in bad times, needs to spend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need to prop businesses up. They need to prop people's mortgages up. They need to bail the people out when times yeah. are tough. And then when times are good, the government needs to take their foot off the gas because we've got it from here. Yeah. And I think this is the, the key difference between a left-leaning government and how they see economics and their role in, in the economy. Yeah. And how a right business focused government sees it. Because they're coming at it from a business mindset of times are tough. I need to tighten my belt. You are not a business. The country yeah. is not a business. You can't run it like one. But they're trying. Yeah. And we've got austerity because of it. So, inflation down. Uh, let's get going with the story. Business correspondent Katie Bradford looks at what it means. What it means. While the dogs check out treats at this gastro pub, their owners discuss the cost of living. I'm barking a bit like a hairdresser. You know, you're, you're talking with people all the time about what's going on out there, and people. Can I just say, better choice TV in Z rather than the diamond ring seller? So you know, <laughs> someone at a pub selling because actually, you know, inflation high, less money around, um, fewer people perhaps going to the keg room, uh, but but you know, so I think. Better choice. Definitely been struggling. We're finding that they'll come in and they're asking a lot more about the specials. Leaving businesses to deal with falling customers and rising costs, so any relief welcome. Definitely in the sectors of meat, um, we've seen significant increases. Seafood, um, fruit and veg and staples seem to be holding okay at the moment, but we've definitely seen changes. And then alcohol goes up constantly. Vegetables are a big contributor to that fall in annual inflation. It's a bit easier at the petrol pump too, helped by the government's axing of all. Sorry, what is this petrol they speak of, Chewy? What's that thing they've got in the car? I don't recognise it. Do you have any idea? Oh, no, no idea. I'm no still idea gritting either. my head off every time I drive past the petrol station because I'm an asshole. I um, I pulled into a Caltex the other day and got a can of drink, and they went, any petrol with that, sir? And I, and I went, <laughs> no, <laughs> and walked out. <laughs> fuel tax. <laughs> Preschool fees are also falling, largely due to the government's family boost policy. The era of crushing just price increases together. is over. But government policies are also having a negative impact. The reintroduction of prescription charges means it costs more at the chemist. High rents taking up a large part of that increase, yeah. as are rates and insurance. But hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. Rate increases? Downward pressure? Da mm. Hang on. No, 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 I don't know. No, 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 must be wrong. Prime Minister prom promised us for a year downward pressure. How can there be rate increases? Just, I'm just going to play it again because th that can't be right. 
impact. The reintroduction of prescription charges means it costs more at the chemist. High rents taking up what? a large part of that increase. We need to tell them, Katie Bradford, you've made a mistake. That can't be right because the Prime Minister promised for a year downward pressure. Downward pressure. That's not. Oh no, I don't accept that. Sorry. As are rates and insurance. All in all, domestic inflation remains high. We have worked incredibly hard. Actually, in, in saying that, sorry to interrupt again. Uh, rates, for example. And insurance. All just, of just remember, we told you before the election, rates were going to go up with a three waters version. They were going to go up far less than without. And look at that, 12.2%. What did I work out the other day? I pay rates of about 80 bucks, 60 bucks a week. 60 bucks oh. a week in rates for my house. 800 square meter section. It's not tiny. And I think about someone on a pension, you know? And that's gone up by 12, let's say it's just 10%. So that, that 80 bucks has become 88, 90 bucks. And with three waters, the increase would have been less. And we did the numbers and we showed you the numbers, but no, because someone got concerned about uh, Maori owning the water and they, they, they got that message through and they convinced enough people of it. So you could actually add this to national because they, they, they fomented that uh, argument and they were the recipients of the votes from the people selling that. Thanks, national. Yeah. All in all, domestic inflation remains high. We have worked incredibly hard to put financial discipline in place. The consequence of that is with good monetary policy and good fiscal policy, we have now inflation in the band. That is something we should be celebrating. If they want to claim credit for that, they can also claim credit for the 55,000 people that have gone overseas. Yes. Record net migration for the higher unemployment. 22,000 more people are un on the unemployment benefit. And now, 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 without being partisan, that is unbelievably fair. You don't you don't get to to get celebrated because of the low uh, inflation, which is good, without going. But we have to remember we all knew that inflation had to go up to get there. So you got if you're owning it, if you're going to celebrate it as the government, look how good we're running the economy. Then you must also own un, uh, un, un, you must also own unemployment and people leaving our shores. That's actually just fair. Nothing else, eh, Joey? Absolutely. I still think that the national government doesn't understand that as a small island trading nation, uh, that their effect on inflation is minimal. Mm. The government's if, uh, effect on, on inflation as a whole, and this goes for national and labour, is largely out of their control. Yeah, because it, it all comes down to who we're selling our goods to and where we're importing our goods from. The reason inflation as a whole went through the fucking roof during COVID is international trade ground to a halt. There were there were not ships transporting goods from China and the US and everywhere. Everything stopped. The price went up for everything because the ones that were moving um with, with the top dollar stuff i i have a mate who works in importing furniture from china um and and he like these figures are not exact but i remember him saying that you know a 40 foot container full whether it was empty or full um cost them five grand to move mm -hmm. normally and in that same container during COVID, would cost close to 20. That's where inflation comes from because all of our goods are more expensive. Yeah. And also because, as you say, you know, we all heard about people who got a spa pool that year because they didn't go overseas because there was no travel. Mm. So people weren't yep. spending as much. The, the, the economy was flooded with extra money. And that's what inflation is, more money floating around for goods and services to purchase. And that yep. happened through, uh, through, through COVID.